live here in the city, you've uh, undoubtedly seen those rent prices soar. That, coupled with rising inflation, is squeezing household budgets. Sure is. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live in downtown Atlanta at noon. Rebecca, today the mayor is telling citizens he's making progress with affordable housing. Yeah, Robin Gravier, think about it. Home prices are rising, rent is rising, but incomes have really remained flat. Well, the mayor spent some time this morning with a group that puts affordable housing at the center of its mission. Since Andre Dickens was elected mayor of Atlanta, one of his top priorities has been creating affordable housing, particularly for longtime residents who helped make the city what it is today. These legacy residents are the soul of our community. In a speech before members of House ATL, a cross-sector group of civic leaders, Dickens gave a progress report on dilapidated properties like Forest Cove Apartments in southwest Atlanta, a place that shocked him when he first visited. On a February day when temperatures were in the mid to upper 30s, freezing families with small children were in homes with busted out windows. Dickens said with the help of several agencies and organizations, the city moved 200 families out of Forest Cove and into temporary housing. Elsewhere, since the beginning of the year, his administration has delivered more than 1,700 affordable housing units with more than 3,900 more on the way. So I'm here today to thank you for your partnership and challenge us all to think bigger, to dream bigger, and to help make Atlanta a city where all can thrive. Thank you. And according to the numbers he provided, in the next few months, the mayor will be at more than a quarter of his goal of bringing 20,000 new affordable housing units to the city. Live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First. Rebecca, thank you.